This is Richard. The weather was dramatically better. Oh. Doing good. What's up, Mel? Sunnier, drier. The work oh. went faster. Um, yeah, I'm on the side of a hill, but go ahead. Richard made sure the trench was 18 inches deep for the entire 50 feet so it wouldn't be washed away by erosion or broken by a shovel or other yard tool. The hole was six feet deep and ready for the next step. You want to go grab two bags of cement, though? The next challenge, getting the bags of concrete mix down into the 40-foot ravine. That would require imagination. Well, we're trying to keep 80-pound cement bags from falling on top of our guys, so we're sliding them downhill on a tethered shelf. Where'd you get that idea? Uh, on the spot thinking with two minutes before I had to leave. Just you gotta look around and improvise sometimes. Richard used the pole that connects my hammock to the maple tree as a primitive pulley. Using ropes, they could slide the bags down on plastic pallets and quickly pull them up again. Only one bag of concrete broke. The system worked. Now the most difficult and dangerous part of the operation. And we're going to dig down 18 inches and lay pipe for the conduit that's going to come from the solar unit up to the helm. Pure muscle. That's about all we got. No equipment, just some good guys. Yeah, it's good. Just do the best we can with what we got. And then the fun part, raising the pipe and filling it with concrete. Okay, what we're going to do is slide it over right onto the ditch. And we're going to send it down. The pole was carefully and thoroughly braced to withstand high winds. Working? Yeah. Even the workers understood what they had accomplished. But there was no time to celebrate. It was time to finish the job. It takes more than a ton and a half of cement to set the steel pole. Then, after two days, there it is, built through the imagination and hard work of Richard and his crew. Yeah! Well, I was scared at first when they were telling me what I was going to be doing, but now that it's done, it just takes a little bit of planning and thinking. What did they tell you you were going to be doing? <laughs> Making that thing vertical. Have you done anything like this before? Nope. Everything went right as we planned and nobody got hurt, so that's a success. Richard's work is done, but phase two of the project waits in the wings for the cement to dry. And as the sun works its magic, it too waits to show us its newest trick.